Fascinating Facts About Robot Abuse Hello guys, welcome back to Fortune Focus. Today we will look at fascinating facts about robot abuse. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. One was arrested for participating in a rally. In 2016, supporters for the parliamentary candidate Valery Kalashev gathered in Moscow. The police kept an eye on the rally, but soon enough, they spotted a fly in the ointment. The throng of civilians included a robot. Called Prombot, the activist machine was created by the company bearing the same name. The droid didn't care about politics. Promobot was there to collect surveys. When it encountered a supporter willing to answer a few questions, the robot plied them with different topics. The data was destined to be analyzed by Kalashib's team, but the police intervened and arrested the peaceful robot. They even attempted to handcuff it. The reason behind the decision to detain Promobot remains unclear, but some believe that the authorities disliked how the robot mingled with the public. Team Kalashev might also have failed to file the correct paperwork for its participation in the rally. One cannot discount the possibility that Promobot's creators caused the scene as a publicity stunt. After all, their robots are for hire. Harassing self-driving cars Even self-driving cars are being abused in all kinds of bizarre ways. In Chandler, Arizona, 21 incidents of this type of harassment have been documented by the police department in just two years. Some people are engaging in verbal abuse, throwing rocks, slashing tires, or chasing these cars down the road. Clearly, some individuals do not want cars driving for them. Perhaps by attacking them, they believe they are standing up for the human race. Arguably, the most shocking of these incidents was when 69-year-old Roy Hazelin was standing on the side of the road as a self-driving car rolled by. His immediate, guttural reaction to the autonomous vehicle was to pull out his gun and pointed directly at the van. A robot built to withstand a fight. Engineers are racing to see who can create the toughest robot that can really take a beating. This quality is in high demand these days. In Tokyo, the robust humanoid robot, also known as RHP2, was built to take some serious punishment. It's a human-sized, bipedal robot that is run by electric motors, soon to be a hydraulic system. This robot is unique because it will always stand up again no matter how often it is knocked down. Like the film character Rocky said, it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. Once knocked down, the robot pulls itself up again every time, just like a human. There is a lot of expensive damage that can happen to a robot when it topples over. Just like a cat has the instinct to right itself during a fall or HP, too has been programmed to fall in a specific position. It's also built with a metal frame to protect its innards. Funeral held for robot after violent being. The rivalry between the soccer teams of England and Russia is no joke. During a 2016 match in France, fans from both countries ended the event in a bloody brawl. So, in Moscow, a robot was created to protect fans at the FIFA World Cup and make them feel more secure. The friendly robot is named Alantum. In a promotional video, Alantum says, There's nothing to be afraid of. I'll protect you. I promise to escort you in Moscow and keep you away from any problems. Alantum speaks both English and Russian. It helps with information and directions. It even entertains. The robot is able to contact the police instantly, but its most advanced feature is an ability to predict conflicts from the surrounding crowd before a situation escalates. Before the robot could fulfill its purpose, a man viciously charged a lantern with a baseball bat. He kicked it to the ground and bashed at its head while the robot pleaded for help. Sadly, a lantern could not be revived after the attack. This incident prompted Olga Budnik, a spokesperson for the Muscovite Tech Hub Fistic Park, to create the world's first robot cemetery. She didn't want to simply plop the robot parts into the trash bin so she made a space for people to be able to say goodbye. Robot tries to escape from children's attack yet. We're back with the juvenile horrors. To be fair, most kids love robots and treat them well. But for some reason, in Japan, at least, one machine is tormented by children at the mall. Robovi2's job is to wander around in Osaka Mall and greet visitors. 
When someone blocks its path, Robovi asks them to step aside. Most adults and teenagers allow the bot to pass. The children, however, have panoramic ideas on how to torment Robovi. Some refuse to get out of the way, cover the bot's eyes, or link hands around the machine to prevent it from moving in any direction. The really cruel kids kick and hit. Robovi and those training to be psychopaths try to wrench the robot's head off. The bot's programmers were fed up. The kids weren't listening to reprimands, and the robot was suffering costly damage. The solution wasn't dignified. Robovi was reprogrammed to run away when children loomed. The droid scanned every person for height. Anyone below 140 centimeters, 4 foot 7 inches, made it zoom off toward the nearest adult, who would then hopefully tell the kids off. They get shot. A few years ago, a hunter found himself in a surreal situation. He was looking at a deer still standing after he'd shot it six times with a rifle. In the nearby bushes, wildlife officials found the scene hilarious. They had just trapped the poacher with a realistic robo-deer. Using a remote control, they flicked the animal's tail or head to make it seem more alive. This is another case where robotic abuse serves a higher purpose. Illegal hunting is a problem in Utah, and law enforcement relies on moving robots to catch the culprits. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.